So welcome back to Zilla's World, um, where I talk about random thoughts I've had in my brain, as well as uh, a few random stories, because I got a few, and those seem to always do well on YouTube, so let's see where this goes. Anyway, so, when I say random ass thoughts, I mean random ass. Like, do you ever think, like, in the in the zombie community, they make fun of each other? Like, do you ever think, in, like, in, in zombie communities, they, like, make fun of each other if they could? Like, um... You, okay, like, let's say there is a horde of zombies, they just found someone, they're eating him, and one guy comes along, and it's late, he's late to the party, and there's not really a lot left. But no one's really, like, touched the lower half, and so he's like, ah, oh, damn it, I gotta eat the ball, I gotta eat the, like, cock and balls. So he's eating because he's starving, he can't help himself, and there had to be, like, one zombie in that group would be like, ha ha ha, <laughs> Ted's gay, ha ha ha, he's laughing so hard his arm falls off. The rest of the hordes laughing, body parts are falling off. One got one zombie laughs so hard his bottom jaw like pops open. He's like, ah, damn it! Uh, and the and the and the zombie who's forced to eat this this dead man's dick has to be like, guys, I'm not gay. I just I'm hungry. Yeah, you hungry for them balls? Oh, I hate you guys. Because like you never see in any of the. In, in, like, any horror movie, like, a vast majority of them, every, like, dead body you see that's been eaten by zombies is, like, just eaten from the upper, uh, from the upper part. It's never, like, you hardly see from the waist down. Like, you, like, sometimes they'll have their legs gnawed on or something like that, but you never see, like, do zombies even go for the groin? I mean, that's where the meat, most meat is. <laughs> you know, bouch ka -bow -wow. But, like... You don't see that, because you have to think there's, like, social status in some form of zombie, you know, because zombies are still like us. So you'd think, like, like, you would have to imagine that there's, like, some, so like, social stigma, like, social criticism among zombies. I'm not trying to make a gay uh, well, uh, I'm not trying to uh, do a little, I'm not trying to gay bash anyone, I'm just saying, like, you'd have to imagine, like, if zombies had cognitive function, they would be just as shitty uh, to each other as we are to, you know, to each other now. Like, they'd be shitty to each other in the afterlife as they are in, in, in as they were in the living. Because the human race can't, you know, help itself of being shitty. So, you'd have to imagine, like, there'd have to be, like, I, hate, I feel bad for that last zombie who shambles in and has to, you know, eat the parts they don't like. You know? So, like I said, this is a random ass, uh, you know, random ass thoughts. Like I said, I'm not, this isn't like a, like a gay bash or anything. I'm just like, that, like I said, my thoughts just kind of wandered into that. Because I was lo watching a zombie movie the other day, and a lot of the bodies I was seeing in this movie were like, um, all just eaten from the weight, from the waist up. And you hardly saw any body parts eaten from the waist down. And that thought just popped in my head. It was like, you think they make fun of, you know, they make fun of the zombie who has to eat the, you know, the groin of the dudes? Who, the de the dudes the dead body the dead bodies the dudes like does that like does that happen so I was like oh shit that thought just got in there anyway so yeah there's there's my weird thought for the day so you guys want to hear a story since we're here if you guys want to hear a story oh you do okay so I guess for like first story I will go for something in my younger years now for those who don't know I am arachnophobic. I have a major fear of spiders. Um, I don't. I don't mind snakes. I don't mind you know bugs. I don't mind uh, sharks even or anything else like frogs or anything. Spiders. It's always been spiders. It's always been just spiders. Um, and I know it's like oh spiders are our friends and spiders are like you know spi you know spiders help. I, I I know that and I'm very well aware of what they do for the animal kingdom. Doesn't mean they're gonna get the receiving end of my shoe by the end of the day. Uh, so, when I was younger, about mm, six, seven, eight, eight tops, I was my first time. Uh, um, I was going to Animal Kingdom for the first time because they just keep in mind Animal Kingdom had just opened in uh, in Florida. You know, Disney Animal Kingdom. Just to be clear, you know, this was before they brought. You know, there was talks of you know, Beastly Kingdom, and stuff like that, and we were doing all the stuff. We hadn't really gone on the rides, because there wasn't any rides, per se, in Animal Kingdom. And we did go, and for reference, because I forgot to mention, it's me, my brother, my sister, 
my younger brother, my younger sister, and my grandparents had taken me on my mom's side. And we had, they had taken us around. We'd seen all the animals and stuff like that. But I, and in my younger years, I was really obsessed with dinosaurs. Like, really obsessed with dinosaurs. So when there was, I found out there was a whole land dedicated to dinosaurs, I, um, I was, like, so excited to see that. But, like, first, my grandparents wanted to go to the Bugs Life show. If you guys don't know, in Animal Kingdom, under the tree, and I think it's still, I think it's still there. It could be torn down. It's been a long time since I've been there. Um, basically, there is a Bugs, Li a Bugs Life 4D movie where Flick is trying to show how bugs and humans can coexist, and then a huge hopper animatronic shows up, and, you know, shit gets real. You know, shit gets real from then on out. So we go, and I'm having a fun time. The whole family's having a fun time. Um, and then the hopper animatronic just shows up. And I'm already freaked out. And when they start showing, and keep on, this is 4D. I'm eight years old, and this is 4D, and I'm seeing, like, images of spiders and giant bugs in 4D, and, oh, and if you know the show, then you know what's coming next. What happens next will forever fucking scar me for life. There's a part of the show where um, huge animatronic black black widows come down from the ceiling and like w wriggle then ride their legs and drool venom on you. I think they stopped doing that now that I think about the, the venom drooling. But like, they come down... And I had lost my mind in the middle of that theater. My grandfather is, like, trying to calm me down. I'm not having it. Because the 40, and, you know, Hopper is flying in my face the whole time. Oh, I was a friggin' mess. I, and when I got out of there, it was like a... It was like a... Like I had been through the war... Like a war zone. I Like I walked out of there like I had walked out of a war zone. Like, I had seen, like, I had just gone to Vietnam and watched my best friend take a sniper bullet between the eyes and his head exploded all over my face. Yeah, it was that bad. Even, like, oh. And I hate, like, even now, uh, I'm going to sound really hypocritical here, but, like, um, like, I hate... You know, if you can't handle your kid, then take him out. But I think back to that day, and I'm like, well, that was just one time. So, cut to a few years later. I'm now in my, you know, I'm now in my early 20s, and my uh, family ha was going to uh, Animal Kingdom again. And um, we went, and we went to the Bugs Life Theater, and I'm already having Vietnam flashbacks at this point of, of the spiders. But I'm like, I'm a big boy, I ain't no bitch no more. I'm, I'm a big boy. I'm a big, brave dog. And then, and like, okay, I handled the Hopper animatronic really well, which, by the way, the ha Hopper animatronic is awesome, and I'm always a fan of animatronics and practical effects. So, when I was older and I appreciated it, I was like, that's really cool. That's really cool. And then the spiders came down again. Now, I didn't cry like a bitch, if, for anyone wondering. I didn't bitch out. I did not in any way, shape, or form bitch out. I did, however, go, mm. <laughs> like, I did, like, look away for a moment, because the spiders were coming down, and I was like, I don't want to look. Now, um, keep in mind, we did have, I do have a younger sister now, at this point, and she didn't like the spiders. She didn't like the spiders. So, uh, a few days later, we were visiting my grandparents, again, on my mother's side, this is the same people who took to, uh, Animal Kingdom, and... They were talking about Animal Kingdom and the moment with Bugs Life, and they're like, "Yeah, she didn't like the spider." Like, they're t my parents were talking about um, my, um, you know, my baby, my new baby sister, talking about, um, you know, how she didn't like the spiders, how she looked away, um, and my grandfather, quick as a whip, pointed directly at me and said, "He didn't either." <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, Grandpa, <laughs> uh." It too, Grandpa? Oh, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so there you go. Like, I... Yeah, I, I fully admit that I, I kind of... I was young, I had a fear of spiders, and I was not prepared for giant robot black widows coming down from the ceiling with smoke everywhere. I was not prepared for that. 
No one debriefed me. No one gave me a heads up. No one said, hey, there's giant fucking robot spiders that's gonna come down from the ceiling and drool, you know, drool stuff on you. Hope that's fucking cool. So, you know, I had a problem with that. You know, I had a, you know, major problem with, uh, you know, with that spiel. So, you know, I think we can all agree that I, you know, due to some inf misinformation, that I was totally in the right. You know, you can't blame me for crying like a bitch at eight years old when, ju when you have a, s a fear of spiders and the spider and spiders bigger than yourself comes down from the ceiling to be like, I'm gonna eat your face, little kid. So, I think I'm good. I think I'm in the right here. So anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about Zilla's thoughts, so... Yeah, just tell me, comment below, let us know what you guys think of this. Do you, you guys interested in me and seeing more? Just, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, we will see you right here once more in the universe.